Hey Calvary, great to see you this morning. My name is Robert and this is your word for the day. As we start out our new year, we're starting a new series called Transformed, which I hope you will join us in because each weekend we're going to talk about how you can be transformed in an area of your life by God's power in your life. And then as we work through this, we've got a great workbook to go along with it that's going to unpack that topic each and every day. And as we kick this off, Pastor Chad asked us to share as a pastoral team how we hope to see God transform our life in 2021. And this was a fun question for me to ponder today um, because the day we're filming, this is actually my first day back to work after a three week sabbatical. Calvary asked their pastoral staff to take a paid sabbatical leave every five years. This is my first time doing this. I'm thankful for the generosity of Calvary to do this. But as I was gone, I was processing what I felt God wanted me to be doing as I moved forward into the next season of my life and what changes he wanted me to make in my walk with him, in my life, my family, my work. And there was one clear message I heard that time, and that was to work on slowing down my pace of life and eliminating hurry from my day-to-day life. Because what I started to see is that my pace, my schedule of life was producing fruit that wasn't consistent with what God wanted for me. When I was hurried, I would be less patient, I would be less compassionate, less generous, and less of the man that I knew God wanted me to be. I also saw that my life was often so hectic that the things that should be the most important to me often got crowded out because of the busyness of life and other commitments that I had made. So in 2021, my hope is to see God transform my life to be more like Christ, one where interruptions are more of opportunities, one where my life is more focused on the things that matter, things like growing closer to Christ, things like spending time with family on being less overwhelmed and less stressed. And my hope is to see him do this as I prioritize some things, as I prioritize regular times of silence and solitude, as I prioritize building a a rhythm of true Sabbath rest, not just a day off of church work for me to get stuff done around the house. And as I also pursue a more minimal and simplistic life in terms of possessions and and things uh, that are surrounding us. And if this resonates with you, let me encourage you to grab a book, uh, a book titled The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer and give it a read. Also, if you're like me, you can recognize that your phone is a huge distraction and a huge use of time. And if you want to take steps to counteract that, uh, part of this process for me is, is getting my phone more minimal, less distracting, and less of a time use. So Google the blog post titled, One Year with a Distraction-Free iPhone, and try that out. I'm about a week into having a much more boring phone, but a much better balance and a a much more freed up mind to be able to to focus and do the things that are truly important to me. This is what God's begun to do in my life, and I'm excited to see him continue to work and develop this in the coming year. And I hope that you will see God transform your life in 2021 in some category as well. We love you guys. Uh, Hope that you are off to a good start in your year. Hope that you have a great day. We'll see you next time, Calvary.